So you, you, asking questions is a good thing. So a couple days ago, I wrote this down and tried to show you guys how it ends up equaling five. And you all had crazy blank looks on your faces, so we backtracked. And we just spent a couple days talking about radicals. I want you to see where these pieces come from. So when you have a rational exponent, you're going to create a radical out of it. And the radicand comes from the, the base, and the base here is 125. The index comes from the base of the exponent, or the denominator, so this is to the third. What do we do to solve these? We find the prime factors of the number inside. Remember this now? Yes. Yes. Okay. And so let's do 125 divided by 5. <coughs> divided by 5. Ooh, five, five, three, five. And 1. So this is equal to the cube root of 5 times 5 times 5. How many are in this group? Three. three. So if I circle all three of these, they're going to come out as representing as one five. So that's how this is equal to five. Okay. Do you see why we did what we did the last two days? Because now you're like, okay, I get this, right? What happens though, and this was a question you guys asked me on two, whatever day we did this, what happens if this isn't a one? Well, we're going to do an example like it. How about if we do 216 to the 2 thirds? We're going to set up a radical again. The base from this exponent is 216, so it goes inside the radical as the radic hand. We're still going to take the 3 here and make it the index. Uh -huh. And then with this 2, we're going to surround this with parentheses uh -huh. and make the whole thing squared. Oh, okay. So uh, and we I didn't have to do it up here because this is a 1. So if I had, I could do this. I could just surround this by parentheses and put the 1 there, but it doesn't change anything. Yeah. Right? So this part of the rational exponent goes here as the index. This part goes out here. We want to solve inside the parentheses first. So we need to find out what 216 is in prime factors. I'm going to put it down here. Okay, well, it's even, so we know it can be divided by 2. That's going to be 108. And then another 2. Do it by another 2. 54. I'm going to have a crooked birthday cake because I started this in a weird place. <laughs> 54 divided by 2 is going to be? 28. Wait, this? Yeah. No, 27. <laughs> Yeah. 27. 27. How about yeah. you don't yell? Are you sure? <laughs> yes. 27. 27, yeah. Because okay. 7 plus 7 is 4. Then 3. 3. 9. Eight, it's a really bad birthday cake. It's something out of Dr. Seuss. So I've got two, two three twos and three threes. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to rewrite this underneath here just because I'm running out of space. It's going to be 2 to the third power times 3 to the third power and don't forget that little square that goes on the outside. Uh -huh. I'm doing a shortcut. I could have written this as 2 times 2 times 2 and 3 times 3 times 3. Where? Oh no, it's a 9. It's a 9. 27 divided by 3 is 9. <coughs> Sorry, John. I, I did this without speaking it out. And then 9 divided by 3 is 3. Do you see it now? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what happens on the inside here? 15. This and this. Oh, wow. 
They're both gone. So the radical is going to disappear. Again, they're both gone because they're both to the third power. And the, and the index is three. I took a shortcut here. I could have written two times two times two and circled it, and three times three times three and circled it. But since they were both to the third, I just took the shortcut. Sure. There's a point where you get tired of writing all that stuff out, right? Yeah, you get tired. What is 2 times 3? 6. And then square 36. And I'm going to square it. What yeah. is 6 squared? 36. And that's it. What? That's it. Easy, right? Yeah. Well, why would it three? This is an, it's not in the book. That's why I glued the book here so they're all together. Because combined, this is all of it. It's another exponent rule. It's the last one I'm teaching. Let's go back and do another one, John. Don't write it this time. I want you to just watch it and know it's being videotaped and you can catch it up in a minute, okay? And I'll try to speak out all the steps. Let's do 32 to the 4 fifths. Let me solve this. Oh, wow. This before you start doing it. I don't get where you got the, where you, what, what happened in the session two thirds, and, I mean, two, two to the third power and three to the third power. Okay. I did a shortcut. It could have been written as this. Yeah. And then I would have circled these because it's an index of three. And then I get two times two. I mean two times three. And since there's nothing left inside the radical, the radical disappears. Mm -hmm. Remember yesterday when we started off with like the square root of 16, you told me it was four, which we know. There's nothing left inside the radical, so it goes away. Okay, okay. okay and since this whole thing was squared... When I pulled this out of the radical, it still has to be squared at the end. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, let's start this new one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit better. If you are at all confused, I don't want you writing this with me. I want you watching this one, knowing it's recorded, and you can go back, okay? First step, we're going to create the radical. Okay. Okay. The denominator of the exponent is what? The index. Five, and it's the index. What's going to be the radicand? 32. And then I put parentheses around the whole thing and raise it to what power? Four. The fourth power. Everything inside the parentheses has to happen first. That four we're going to deal with at the very end, okay? First thing I want to do, prime factorization of 32. And it's going to be all twos. We've done this number before. Okay, can I do the shortcut or do you guys want to see it all the way written out? Let's do the shortcut. Okay, the shortcut is to rewrite this. Oops, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was off screen, but I just made the birthday cake to get the prime factors. There's how many twos? Which is convenient because the index is five. So I'm going to do two to the fifth power, raised to the fourth. But since the index is five. Since the index is five, everything inside the radical disappears. Yes. Equals two. And it equals <laughs> two, two, two to the fourth, fourth power. Yeah. And on this, that would be sixteen. It's sixteen. I get it now. Me too. Nice. I like this. Okay. So we're when gonna have some practice. Why did you get rid of the five power? Huh? When you write it out, oh, it's yeah. two times, two times, two times. Because of this, John, I'm just taking a shortcut because I'm getting tired of writing ex these things out over and over and over, right? If I see that it's 5 and the index is 5, I realize they're all going to get circled and go away. So this is the same as this. Yeah, just keep the 1, 2, because when I pull it out of the radical, it, whatever got circled, that number comes out once. 